want to say how proud I am of all three of my children because they've been just great kids all the way down the line. Um, not too many people know uh, Will started his javelin career. Okay, he's a football player in high school, gets injured, has a, has a back issue, and he comes home one day and says, Dad, I'm going to go for the tra track and field team. I'm going to throw the javelin, which we knew nothing about. So here's a guy that studied javelin throwing, watched every video, studied the aspects, studied the physics of throwing, and decided he's going to break records in New Jersey. So we were all for it. He ended up doing that. He ended up becoming the top five thrower in the state of New Jersey. Broke the school record by 30 feet. So, that was a proud, proud ball. After his junior year, he decides this could be a this could be a trail to college for him. We start looking at schools. Penn State looking at him. Cincinnati actually pretty much recruited him. We drive to Cincinnati. And he didn't really like Cincinnati. On the way back from Cincinnati, I basically say, why don't you try Ohio State? We're driving through Columbus. Like that's a huge school. I don't know if I can get in. Sends a YouTube video. Coach Manning takes the video, looks at the video, and says, "This Jersey boy may have some some, some, some good throws in him." So we meet Coach Manning, and he ends up offering a small scholarship to come to Ohio State. So he becomes a Buckeye. Between, I've never been in the state of Ohio. I don't think he was in the state of Ohio before that. Um, Comes down here. The funny story was the first time we get down here is I take my son Greg and Will, we take a trip down to Ohio to move him into his first dorm room. <laughs> and the RA at the dorm sees us moving in and Will I think hair is slicked back. <laughs> he still had the earrings in his ear. And the guy says to him, he says, You from New Jersey? And Will says, Yeah, he goes, That makes you a Guido. <laughs> so that's the first interaction you have in Ohio State. Guy. So Will takes it, he takes Jalen throwing very serious. I dropped him off at 160 pounds. I mean, a couple months I saw him come back at about 199 pounds and put on a lot of muscle. And he goes out and wins his first five meets as a freshman. We do a whole article about him, write-up article. But he gets injured after his freshman year. And he has to go for Tommy John surgery. I thought he was going to be done with his career. Kyle uh, Wilson, I'm going to go for the surgery and rehab for a year. Red shirt. Okay. Red shirt comes back, starts throwing even stronger, tears it again. So I'm thinking this is it. This is it for him. I mean, he loves the sport. Injuries are taking him down. You know? So he says, Dad, I'm going to throw one more time. I'm going to save it for Big Ten championship. Three months down the road, I can work through this. He's got a torn UCL. Okay, the proudest part, of, the proudest moment for me as a father was Coach Bathia calls me and says, "You know what? He goes, I'm going to let Will throw. He's really passionate about this. I'm going to let him throw in the Big Ten." So we go down there for the Big Ten championship, and um, Coach Bathia calls me over for a meeting and says. I would never let an athlete go out there and throw with it with an injured arm. He says, but your son is so passionate, has the drive and the pride and the competitiveness, I'm gonna let him throw. And you know what, as a dad, that was the best moment in my career, in his career. So I just wanna say that this, this kid made me proud. And um, I know in his future years, his sports are gonna parallel what he does in life. And that's that's my son Will. All right, we love him. And also he kept the grades on, which is good. He graduates tomorrow. Cheers to Will. Cheers.